Okay, this is a review of the different reflectors you can use for a DIY algae scrubber. And um, we will start with the one that most people would not use, and that's this big one here. Because uh, it's nice that it's 12 inches from side to side, and uh, but the problem is, is that it is not polished at all. The outside is not too bad as you can see but the inside is uh, very dull so you're losing like half your light the only good thing is very big um, another bad thing is you can only get it in Australia at a place called uh, down under bird supplies but it doesn't come with a light you have to supply your own light and everything so this is not uh, of a whole lot of use and actually if you need a wide one you're better off going with multiple small ones alright so We'll move on to what most people would find in their uh, local hardware store, and that's one of these. They work fine for the price. It's a very lightweight aluminum. You can actually bend this pretty easy, and uh, it has a switch. This is the only one with a switch. So that is unfortunately not good because a switch will, especially for salt water, will start getting some buildup in the contacts. You don't need the switch anyway, so it's just something else that's going to short. Also, this is only, I believe, eight inches. It's the smallest one. It's very unpolished, so it you lose a lot of light, plus it's awfully small. Maybe for a 13-watt CFL bulb, but that's about all. And um, the also the cord is, I guess it doesn't really matter, but the cord's very uh, lightweight and flimsy. Uh, the clamp is fine, but this is the type you find mostly in the hardware stores. This is a bigger version of what you find in the hardware stores. It's also flimsy plastic that you can bend, although that's not really a big deal for what we're doing. Uh, the problem with these flimsy ones is they're not polished at all. It's hardly any shine at all, actually on either side, as you can see. This one's bigger. I think this is 10 inches, so that's a plus. has some ventilation holes here. Um, the brackets are all about the same here. This one does not have a switch, so that's better. This one has a more heavy-duty cord, and it has a, a ceramic heavy-duty high-temperature socket. So that's better, too, because uh, the plastic ones on these things uh, will crack sometimes if you move them around and they get hot after, after a while. So this is the next best here. Sometimes you can get this in the hardware stores or your Home Depots. The uh, next best would be one of these. Now, this is polished aluminum. It's it's a little bit stronger, but the most important is it's polished like a mirror. It's going to reflect a lot more light. This one's very deep, unfortunately, so that takes a lot of space away from from your screen. You're going to have to give yourself more space to work with. The clamp's the same as the rest. It doesn't really matter. It does have a high temperature ceramic base, which will not crack uh, after long use, and it has a good high, um, uh, high strength cord here, which is very flexible and will not uh, have any problems with the salt water environment or anything like that. The one thing about this, I like how it's really reflective, but it's just too deep for what we need to do. We don't really care uh, how deep it is. We just need, we care about how wide it is and how reflective it is. So that brings us to the best one, which I think is this one. Okay, this one is uh, very polished, as you can see. It's very narrow. It's very shallow from here to here. Let me compare it. So see the difference here? There about the same this way but the one on the bottom is just way deeper okay so who needs that it's not going to help us we don't really care all right so this thing is just too big for how much reflection you get so this one here is very narrow this is only six inches Okay, so if you have six inches from your, actually from your screen, if your screen was one inch away from the end, or maybe two inches, it would be eight inches. But this by itself is, is six inches. Okay, it also has a heavy-duty ceramic 
this is the same as, as everything. This is just the grip. Um, heavy duty cord. This one is the only one that has a hanger. So if you are, if you don't want to use the clip-on device, you can use the hanger and just hang it as long as it's going to be pointing in the right direction. This is the only one with that. Obviously you can make it on the other ones, but this one comes with it. Okay. And uh, so if you were going to use the hanger, you would you would remove the bracket, okay, and then you would have this. So as long as you have the weight of the cord, here we go, as long as you have the weight of the cord holding down, then it balances like that. And so you could just attach that to something and just like let it, uh, let it float there. Real good for sumps that don't have a good place to connect things to. This thing here goes either way and it can it rotate around too. Um, also, this one, compared to the other ones, has a very easy to remove uh, piece on the inside. Okay, all you do is hold it, unscrew that, see? And there's your heavy duty ceramic thing, very high temperature. I believe this thing is made for a 300 watt uh, bulb, so it's not your uh, low, low temperature variety uh, that the uh, hardware store one is. And you can tighten this down and make it tight so it doesn't rattle around. Some of the other ones you can't tighten down and you can't loosen. They seem to be stuck on there as far as I could tell. It has your cooling holes. Of course if the if it's going to be positioned down heat's going to collect in here and you need holes for this to get out. Anytime you have an overheating problem with a bulb and it burns out at the base just drill these holes a little bit bigger but you should never have a problem if it's angled like this and your screen is like this. So this one is the best because polished, it's not too deep, it has a hanger, has a high temperature ceramic removable thing for cleaning, you can remove it, has a high temperature uh, or I should say a highly flexible heavy duty cord which is I believe, let's see here how long this cord is, uh, it looks to be eight feet long and then of course the clip on the clip on bracket here is the same as all of them they're all the same I looked at them there's not one better than the other and of course this one can hang just like that for some people and it, this is very lightweight too obviously the bulbs gonna add some weight too but by itself this would be the best one to hang and the only one that comes with the hanger so this is the one that I have offered for sale on the site for $19.99 and uh, actually if you have a choice I would get this one over the rest simply because of these features here unless you need the really big one for some reason if you could polish this big one and then add your own lighting pieces uh, like for like from one of these and you polished it like a mirror and you had the extra room here then this one would be good for a really big screen like a 14 inch screen but anytime you have a very wide screen like uh, if your screen is more than if your screen is more than this wide, you know, if you have more than like an inch or two on each side, you're better off just getting smaller ones and uh, using two of them. Okay, so like let's say you have an 18-inch wide screen, you could take two of these and put them side by side and angle them in a little bit, like uh, like this, so they're pointed towards the middle of the screen. Much better than having one big powerful bulb in the middle because you're going to burn the algae in the middle and then the outsides aren't going to do anything so you want to spread that light out. Of course none of these are as good as T5HO's. T5HO's are much better because they're going to keep the light consistent all the way across but that's a whole different DIY situation.